Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's an absolute pleasure to welcome everybody here today to the Desert Diamond Arena in Glendale, Arizona, USA for the official weigh-in for a big night of World Championship professional boxing taking place here on Saturday night. Now, the whole card is being brought to you courtesy of Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing, and it'll go out live around the world exclusively on the zone we're sponsored by bet online stage front and o'reilly parts the professional parts people ladies and gentlemen what a card we have we've got eight fights on the card we've got three title fights we've got one world title eliminator and at the top of the bill we've got bam rodriguez we got showtime sonny edwards both undefeated as they go toe-to-toe -to -toe for supremacy in the 112 pound weight division IBF and WBO flyweight championship of the world. And now, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's go ahead and bring the fighters up to the stage so we can start the weigh-in so they can face the scale and face each other. Our first contest, six rounds in the featherweight division. Now making his way to the stage, professional record, eight victories, four defeats, two draws, with four wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, please welcome Edgar Ortiz Jr. Jr. Little toys for tots, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Now making his way to the stage, professional record thus far, perfect 7-0, three knockouts from Liverpool, England, Joe McGrail. McGrail. And out of the scale, Edgar Ortiz Jr. One twenty three bang on for Edgar Ortiz Jr. One hundred and twenty three pounds bang on. Now to the scale, the Scouser Joe McGrail. One twenty five point eight. One twenty five point eight for Joe McGrail. You see Joe McGrail and Edgar Ortiz Jr. dropping in a toy into the bin. Fans were welcome to uh, bring an unwrapped gift for the Toys for Tots donation here at Desert Diamond Arena as McGrail and Ortiz face off six rounds to start us off on Before the Bell. Coming up at 5 Eastern, 3 Mountain here on DAZN. McGrail versus RT, six rounds, featherweights, matchroom boxing, live on the zone from Glendale, Arizona. And Joe McGrail looking to move to 8 0 as he makes his U.S. debut. The 21 year old younger brother of Peter McGrail, both trained by Paul Stevenson, taking on Edgar Ortiz, who's trying to snap a three match winless streak as they go at it at 126 pounds. Joe and his brother, Pete, both fighting out of the Red Triangle Gym over in Liverpool. This is a new experience for some of these British fighters coming over and making their US debut. A lot of butterflies. They say that the dream is always to come over and fight the big fights here in the States. Let's get weighed in for our second fight. Back to David we go. All right, thank you, Justin. We're going to stay in the 126 pound division as we go six rounds in the featherweight division. Now making his way to the stage, professional record, nine wins, two defeats, one draw, with five wins coming my way of knockout. Peleando fuera Lomas del Paraíso, Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Damas y caballeros, Alexis Picudo Molina. Molina. And his opponent now making his way to the stage, undefeated in his career as a professional, with a record of six wins, no defeats, two of his wins coming by way of knockout. He fights out of Moreno Valley, California. Please welcome Albert Chop Chop Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Now to the scale, Picudo, Alexis Molina.
126.2 for Alexis Molina. Now to the scale, the undefeated Albert Chop Chop Gonzalez. One twenty seven point two for Chop Chop, one twenty seven point two for Albert Gonzalez. You see Albert Gonzalez trying to win his fourth fight of 2023. Molina, 9 2 and 1, looking to pick up his first win in the U.S. This is his second time fighting in the U.S., also his second time on a Matchroom U.S. show. Fought Robert Greenwood to a majority drawer on the Canelo Callum Smith undercard in San Antonio back in December of 2020. He also appeared on the Kiyaguchi Bermudez undercard in fight, June fight. of last year. Gonzalez putting his 6-0 record on the line, 21 years of age, turned pro two years ago. Since that time, Gonzalez has lost exactly one round combined on the judges' scorecards. Gonzalez versus Molina, six rounds, featherweights, matchroom boxing, live on the zone from Glendale, Arizona. So two fights at 126 pounds, starting us off tomorrow night. Featherweight division on display. Next up, it is Junaid Boston and Gordy Rust II. There were fireworks at the press conference between these two yesterday. Let's see what happens when they weigh in. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to go eight rounds in the super welterweight division. Now making his way to the stage, undefeated, 6-0. All six wins coming by way of knockout. He fights out of the Motor City, Detroit, Michigan. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the G-Baby, Gordy Russ the second. Russ the second. And his opponent now making his way to the stage. Also, perfect professional record, 7-0. Six of his seven wins coming by way of knockout. He's the two-time amateur national champion. He fights out of Rotherham in South Yorkshire, England. Please welcome the star boy, Junaid Boston. Boston. Now to the scale. G baby, Gordy Russ the second. One fifty five point two, one fifty five point two for Gordy Russ the second. And now to the scale, the undefeated star boy, Junaid Boston. Also 155.2, identical, 155 and a quarter for Junaid Boston. Boston 7-0, six knockouts. Russ 6-0 with six knocks out, knockouts. He has stopped each one of his opponents, including three in the first round as they feisty, face feisty, off feisty, here. Feisty, 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 feisty. Probably found that one. Two undefeated fighters, Junaid Boston, Gordy Russ the second. Eight rounds, super welterweights. Matchroom boxing live on the zone from Glendale, Arizona. Hey, 
So a subdued and distanced stare down between Janaid Boston and Gordy Russ the second as they get ready for their eight round clash tomorrow night. Third of four fights coming up on Before the Bell. And then it'll lead us into our fourth and final contest uh, before the bell. Arturo Cardenas, another Robert Garcia disciple. We've heard great things about him. 11-0-1 with seven knockouts going up against Carlos Mujica, who impressed back in our Detroit show back in July. Fighters are ready to weigh in. Let's go back to David. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go eight rounds in the Super Bantamweight division right now. Coming to the stage, eight and three with three knockouts. He fights out of Caracas, Venezuela. Please welcome Carlos El Pirata Mujica. Mujica. And his opponent now making his way to the stage. He is undefeated in his campaign as a professional with a record of 11 wins, no defeats. He has one draw with seven wins coming by way of knockout. Presentando de Cejuayo, Michoacan, Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, Arturo Cardenas. <laughs> Cardenas. <laughs> Not of the scale. El Pirata, Carlos Mojica. One twenty-two, bang on the super bantam weight limit right there. One hundred and twenty-two pounds for Mojica. El Invicto de Michoacán, Dominic Caballeros, Arturo Cardenas. 123.4, 123.4 for Cardenas. Cardenas going for his 10th consecutive victory, trying to improve to 5-1 in U.S. fights. Mujica, meanwhile, trying to redeem himself after that tough 10-round defeat against Jerico Quinn in July. And we'll put it on the line tomorrow to close out our Before the Bell show. Cardenas versus Mojica, eight round super bantamweights, matchroom boxing, live on the zone from Glendale, Arizona. It's eight rounds at 122 pounds to close out before the bell. Then we will start the main card with 10 rounds at 122 pounds. WBA Continental Super Bantamweight title on the line as Peter McGrail makes his U.S. debut against Jerico O'Quinn. That starts off the main card again at 8 Eastern, 6 Mountain. McGrail 8-0, O'Quinn 16-1-1 one one as McGrail gets ready to take on his most experienced opponent to date. Let's go back to the scales. All right, thanks, Justin. And I just got to say, I cannot wait for this fight. The whole card's great, but this fight speci specifically has got me very excited. As Mr. Eddie Hearn from Matchroom Boxing is proud to present 10 rounds for the WBA Continental Super Bantamweight Championship. Now making his way to the stage, his professional record, 16 victories, one defeat, one draw, with eight wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Detroit, Michigan, here is the Great Lakes King, Jericho O'Quinn. O'Quinn. And his opponent now making his way to the stage. He's a southpaw with a perfect professional record. Eight fights, eight victories, five of his eight wins coming by way of knockout. He represents the Everton Red Triangle Club. Of course, fighting out of Liverpool, England. Please welcome Peter Blood McGrail. McGrail. Out of the scale, the Great Lakes King, Jorico O'Quinn. One hundred and twenty one pounds for Jorico O'Quinn, one hundred and twenty one pounds for the Great Lakes King. 
And now to the scale, the undefeated liver Pudley and Peter Blood McGrail. A trim and ready, 121.6 pounds for Peter Blood McGrail. 121.6. This is a terrific matchup on paper, like David was saying, and also it was a terrific back and forth between these two at the press conference yesterday. Let's see what happens here as they face off for the final time. Let's go! Let's the front boys. Peter Blood McGrail, Jericho the Great Lakes King, O'Quinn. 10 rounds for the WBA Continental Super Bantamweight Championship Matchroom Boxing live on the zone from Glendale, Arizona. That's going to kick off our main card on to zone. Up next, it'll be the U.S. return of Gal Yafai taking on Rocco Santamaro, who's 22 and 2 with six knockouts. Yafai, 5 and 0, oh, four KOs. He's had five pro fights so far. All have been scheduled for at least 10 rounds thus far. He just turned 31 on Monday, and you can bet world championship aspirations are right in front of Gal Yafai, perhaps taking on the winner of our main event coming up tomorrow night. Tomorrow he will try to defend his WBC International Flyweight title as he takes on Santa Mara, who's trying to avoid back-to-back -back defeats. He suffered his just his second pro defeat earlier this season, and that broke a string of nine consecutive wins. Thank you, Justin. And as he said, from Glendale, Arizona, USA, in the Desert Diamond Arena, the official weigh-in continues as Mr. Eddie Hearn from Matchroom Boxing, in association with Marv Nation's promotions, are proud to present 10 rounds for the WBC International Flyweight Championship. Now making his way to the stage, his professional record, 22 victories. He has two defeats with six wins coming by way of knockout. He fights out of Hesperia, California. Please welcome the SoCal Kid, Rocco Santamaro. Santamaro. And his opponent now making his way to the stage, his professional record, a perfect one. Five fights, five victories, with four of his five wins coming by way of knockout. He fights out of Birmingham, England. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the 2020 Olympic gold medalist. He is the reigning, defending, and undefeated WBC International Flyweight Champion, Galal Yafai. Yafai. Now to the scale, the SoCal Kid, Rocco Santamaro. One eleven point four for Rocco Santamaro. One eleven point four. And now to the scale, the undefeated Galal Yafai. One eleven point eight, one eleven point eight for Galal Yafai. There you see 36 year old Rocco Santamaro and Gal Yafai coming up to face off. This is going to be a good one at 112 pounds as Yafai looks to defend the WBC International Flyweight title. Yafai, Rocco Santamaro, 10 rounds for the WBC International Flyweight Championship. Matchroom boxing in association with Marv Nations. Live on the zone from Glendale, Arizona. Thank you, boys. Thank you. Yafai is looking to make it five knockouts in six pro fights. You're going to also like the story of Rocco Santamaro and the the adversity of what he's gone through 
to continue his career, keep this going, and put himself in position for a regional belt. Again, 22-2 and two with six knockouts, a 14-year pro, certainly bringing a boat of experience in front of Gal Yafai on Saturday night. And that'll bring us to our co-feature WBA title eliminator, MJ Akhmedaliev and Kevin Gonzalez. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to weigh in the chief support of the evening as Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing in association with World of Boxing and Fresh Productions are proud to present 12 rounds for the WBA Super Bantamweight World Title Eliminator. Now making his way to the stage, he is undefeated in his campaign as a professional with a record of 26 victories, no defeats, one draw, and 13 wins coming by way of knockout. He's a southpaw fighting out of Culiacan, Sinaloa, Mexico, Kevin El Chacal Gonzalez. Gonzalez. And his opponent now making his way to the stage, also a southpaw. Professional record, 11 victories, only one defeat, eight of his 11 wins coming by way of knockout. He fights out of Namangan, Uzbekistan. He is the 2016 Olympic bronze medalist. He is the former unified WBA and IBF super bantamweight champion of the world, Uzbek Olonar Jahon Tampiona Murajan, MJ Ahmad Ali. Ahmad Ali. Now the scale, El Chacal, Kevin Gonzalez. One twenty-one, one hundred and twenty-one for the undefeated fighter from Sinaloa. One hundred and twenty-one pounds. And out of the scale, Murajan, MJ Ahmad Ali. One twenty-one point six, one hundred and twenty-one point six from MJ Murajan Ahmad Ali. There you see the 29-year-old Southpaw out of Uzbekistan making his comeback after falling to Tapalis in April. Again, a win for either of these men will put them right in line for a potential undisputed title fight. This is Akhmedali of second fight since last June, his third straight time competing on a Bam Rodriguez undercard. Let's go, champ. Champ. Let's go, champ. Champ. Hi, right, baby. From Lucas. MJ versus El Chacal, two southpaws. Marajan Akhmar Ali, Kevin Gonzalez. 12 rounds for the WBA Super Bantamweight World Title Eliminator Matchroom Boxing in association with World of Boxing and Fresh Productions. Akhmedaliev and Kevin Gonzalez going at it in the co-feature. I think a lot of que a question that's on the mind of a lot of people is how fast can Akhmedaliev start against Kevin Gonzalez tomorrow night? Many people feel that's what plagued him in that defeat against Apollos back in April. He won a lot of the second half of the fight, but came up short in that decision loss in San Antonio. So Akhmedaliev trying to begin the climb back to being a world title holder. He will be in the ring against Kevin Gonzalez for a, a WBA Super Bantamweight title eliminator tomorrow night on the zone. The co-feature that brings us into our main event, Jesse Bam Rodriguez, Sonny Edwards go at it for the WBO and IBF Flyweight Championships.